Hi YouTube, it's T. I am coming in with another video, a reveal. I promised you guys last week that I would show you my finished garment of the Vogue V9298. The um, version that I made with the peplum. So I am wearing that right now. And my husband is going to... Um, do a couple of photos and also a video of me wearing it it is very warm outside and we're going to go ahead and do this so without further ado I'm going to go ahead and leave you right here just let me know what you think of the garment make sure that you leave your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below and as always stay creative Okay, everyone, we're back in my sewing room and I just want to tell you real quickly a couple of things about the garment. I used a Ponte Ripknit uh, contrast for the sleeves. The main body of the garment, I used a um, stretch knit fabric from Joann's. This is, I think this was in their Casa Embellishment collection. The amount of stretch in this garment was not sufficient for the garment and as you can see in some of the pictures it just looks way too tight on me um it doesn't feel too tight but it just it has that appearance of being too tight in certain areas especially like uh underneath the arms and um on the back of the garment i would definitely change the peplum next time i think i need to make it a little longer Um, on my dress form, I think that the garment looks beautiful, but on my body type, I feel like, um, some changes need to be made in order for it to look more pleasing. However, with that said, I do love the pattern. The instructions are very simple and easy. Um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and make a tutorial on this. For the panty part of it, I did not like the panties of the garment. Uh, as I explained in a previous video uh, when I was in the process of making this garment, I just did not like the panties because they were really cheeky and um, I found the snaps to be quite a pain to put on as well because um, the pattern calls for you to put um, a facing around the leg of the garment and that facing goes into the area where you're going to be putting the snaps at. And so it's kind of like double fabric there and then there's webbing there. And so it's really hard to kind of put those snaps in into place. So I felt like the panties were just too much of a, a big deal to, to deal with. So I decided to just go ahead and create this peplum because I still like the pleated um, detail of the garment and I like the style of the garment as well I think it is a very nice garment but like I said I going forward in the future I feel like I would definitely need to make some changes for it to fit my body type so for this garment I didn't have enough stretch on the uh, crosswise grain and so that is why I feel like it makes me feel like it's it's tighter on me it's more snug on me I think if I would have chose a uh, garment that had more stretch in it it would feel better for me also the reason why I have contrast sleeves is because the fabric does not stretch as much as I want it to on the crosswise grain I had a hard time having the sleeves 
of the same fabric of this uh, garment or of the main part of the garment, I had a hard time um, having that fit my arms. And so I decided to just do away with those and to put this contrast piece on. So although I really like the Ponte rib knit and it looks really great and I like the, um, the color blocking, I did want, initially I did want to have this garment in just one color. But with all that said, I do really like the garment. I like the pattern as well. Like I said, going forward, I would definitely choose a different fabric. And if you use my sewing tutorial on how to make this Vogue V9298 pattern, make sure you pay particular attention to the stretch, the amount of stretch that is in the fabric, and make sure that you use the stretch guide rule on the back of the pattern because it will give you a really great indication as to how much stretch you're going to get out of that garment. Now, for me, I did follow that rule, but it just... I think for me and my body type, it's just not going to work for me and my body type. So I know that going forward and I can choose something different. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I will insert a few more photos at the end of this video of this garment because the lighting of this is just not um, showing up really well. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers that have shared subscribe throughout this week. I hope you like the content in this video. Make sure that you comment and like and share my videos because it really, really helps support the channel. And I'm grateful for all of you who already have done that and continue to do that. And until next time, stay creative.